שלום עליכם. For many of us, the time that we're spending on earth, in many ways, is not in one line with our hopes, with our expectations. In many ways, even for people who has gigantic faith and they truly from an inner spot believing in God they have that true understanding that there is a creator even for people like us there are many many hours that we find the connection with reality complex and hard and overwhelming in many many ways there are many many answers that coaches and rabbis and mentors even wise people real wise people not just ones that are holding titles also real talented people there are many answers that they will try to supply that will not answer and fulfill our need. Many people can give you an advice that won't be suit, suits you, tailor-made just for you. The point that people need to understand is, and I'm telling those things to myself, is that no matter how educated I will be, no matter how many books I will read, how many classes from how many righteous people I will hear, there will be always a place that in that place I have the free choice and I am the one who needs to stand in the tests. <clears throat> the responsibility of the person will always stay in its place. No matter how much you will try to follow righteous people and advice from people that are well known and accepted by everyone, almost everyone, even on Mordechai, the most fantastic, loving Jew ever that brought such a great salvation for our nation, even on him in the end of the Esther scroll, it's written, that most of his brothers, they uh, accepted him. So really to be accepted on everyone is, uh, will be only the job of, uh, of Mashiach. But um, so even for people like us that are trying to follow the real known and famous, righteous, most accepted ones, even for us, there are places that in those places we are not able to count on other people's advice and we must follow to that place of finding the answers on our own. And why is it so important? Because in many, many ways we are scared to take the responsibility. We are afraid to count on ourselves and to take decisions and to come to conclusions on our own. Our self-esteem is not high enough, is not perfect enough for us to understand that this is part of the mission, that we will choose on our own, that we, that we will take decisions, that we will make decisions on our own, that we will not count on other people's opinions. For an example, if you keep Shabbat properly and for you, there is a prohibition to speak over the phone on Shabbat. So five minutes before Shabbat, if you have questions and you don't know the answers, no one, no rabbi will pick up the phone and answer you. If your wife will ask you a question, okay, so what should I do? Can I put that in the oven? Maybe I'm not allowed to. Something is dairy and something is, uh, is meat and you cannot put them together and you have a question if for an example i just give examples okay i'll i'll wrap it with two coverings i'll put another 
extra covering on it like okay so now am i allowed to do it can i maybe not should i not do that like what's the answer situations like those and you find yourself being asked that question or finding yourself struggling with the question five minutes before shabbat no one can answer you now you will say to yourself oh it's so awful what should i do what can i do i don't have an answer listen that is the mission the mission is that you right now will find an answer on your own without knowing the answer without knowing it's true next week you should go and try to learn and try to 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 find the answers to your questions and to try to find solutions and to learn more and to consult for next week not to have that problem but now in reality the creator put you in a certain position that in that position you must choose without knowing and that is part of the mission and you should count on yourself that even if you will make a mistake the only way that you can choose right is by trying to do the best that you can and sometimes you fail and sometimes you fall and sometimes you make decisions that are wrong totally awkward and bent and twisted and you ask yourself how in the world did i make that decision how in the world i was so wrong how did i came to that understanding why was i what was i thinking to myself that is the way that is the way that you need to go through for you to be humbled for you to be educated for you to learn that lesson for you to try to prepare yourself and qualify yourself in a better way for next week for you to understand that you're not perfect for you to understand that there are people that are wiser than you that you're not focusing your mind on the right things always that your mind is distracted that you are bothered i don't know there are many things that a person needs to go through in life and not all of them are beautiful and perfect and amazing some of them are complex some of them are not so comfortable some of them are forcing us to confront our worst fears and moments of 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 doubts and low self-esteem but we should understand there is part of our life that in that part we must choose on our own we must come to decisions on our own and we must understand that this is the will of the creator that that is exactly what he wants from us he wants us to choose on our own he wants us to count on ourselves he wants us to have that ability to look deep inside our own souls and to connect ourselves from within to the truth by counting ourselves on ourselves by listening to our inner voice by trying to do the best that we can and even if you will have to deal with a humiliation, with an understanding that you chose wrong, that you made a mistake, it's also okay. There is a great test in that for you to be humble and able to admit in your mistakes. And it's okay to be wrong. We're not here to be perfect. If the Creator would want us to be perfect, He would make us like that. This is perfect. We are not perfect. He is perfect. It is perfect. We're not perfect. The Creator could make us perfect, but He did not. He made us in a way that we need correction, that we need humility, that we need to be humble. And by that humility, we will be corrected and will achieve that completion that is needed that correction that we must go through to achieve that perfection that we desire so much so don't be afraid to choose on your own and to take decisions and even if you will have to deal with some kind of humiliation of understanding that sometimes you choose wrong and you make mistakes don't be scared to mistake you cannot learn without making mistakes it's not an option. It never happens to no one. No one ever 
made everything perfect. There is no righteous man who will live on earth who will do only good and will never sin, will never make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. So welcome to the real world, to the world of reality, to the world that people struggle to find some sanity, honesty, sincerity, loyalty, truthfulness, all the wonderful words that built connection and communication are the ones that are needed for our success. Connect yourself to the truth. Be honest, be humble, be truthful, and you shall be blessed. May Hashem bless us all in this wonderful weekend with this wonderful Shabbat to achieve the inner great wonderful connection to our souls and may the light of our souls shine and we'll know Hashem and we'll find our true selves and all our prayers will be answered in no time. Amen. Shabbat Shalom.